All right, welcome back. We are on the Traveler's Solo Scout campaign <coughs> and uh, finished all this background work. Um, as you can tell here, mapped out <coughs> planets, mapped out empires. <coughs> I think kind of because I was avoiding playing through what actually happens now <coughs> when our crew of the Intrepid on the Alien Cube in orbit around Kotari are now running into their first representative of the Surin <coughs> Empire here. So just to set things up, we uh, generated two empires back here. <coughs> and we get some background story of why we're getting the uh, free trader impounded. <coughs> Seems like there's illegal trading going on. Tech level trading. <coughs> and of course, uh, Imperium Imperial intelligence caught wind, and that kind of explains why the endurance is here. <coughs> but we need to get to the main event. Um, our crew is now inside this cube with all the specimens, which seems to be an attempt, I would imagine, to populate Qatari <coughs> for Surin settlement later, um, since this world is uninhabitable, <coughs> and then this world is uh, limited access to. Um, this world is okay, and I, I covered that in previous ones. But what we need to roll out now is uh, what's going to happen. Um, so our situation is um, the crew is in, the, or at least three of them, Sonny's back on the ship watching things. There's a buoy with all the info ready to be launched um, out of system in case things go south. And uh, basically they've got two aliens approaching them rather tall. Um, now based on the specs of the Qatari homeworld, or the Surrey homeworld here, their atmosphere is exotic. You need an air supply. So the, I'm going to say the compartment's filling up with uh, an air supply, but not something they want to breathe, so they're keeping their stuff on for this, and they're watching their exit route, and their hands are haven't withdrawn, but uh, they're over their stun pistols, which is all they brought with them. So I'd say the big role here is I'm going to use, and this is, a, just did a video on Cephas Deluxe Enhanced, I'm going to use their table for an NPC reaction. Um, and this is a big role. I'm just going to do a flat roll and say uh, this is this is going to be the view of the two aliens approaching them. I don't even know what they're armed with either. Tech levels are somewhat close. So here we go. Big roll. That was not indifferent. To neutral action. So any social acceptable neutral action the NPC will act in a socially predictable or wary manner. So they are wary of our crew. Um, okay. It means they're not going to take them hostage, so we've resolved that. So, i kind of figured out how I want to play this out. Uh, basically, the, the two groups exchange. I guess we could uh, see if they can get a good translation here. Let me think about that here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to roll for is, do they have a translator? going to do this right here for that. Um, whether they can translate. Since there was reference, I'll say well, let's do likely and see what we get. I think that's a 1d20. Sides on the dice, 20. Number of dice, 1. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's 1 to 20. Translation, likely. Stop. So <laughs> Gosh. Yes, well, that's, whoa, holy smoke, that's off the scale. <laughs> that's a definite. So, um, let's just say, uh, yes, definitely. And the aliens understand them because their first question statement is, um, we're not interested in trading. Um, because the story is basically we've got people, traders, independent traders coming in here, and there's a number of here's a tech level five, and 
there's another place that's low tech and xenophobic that they're uh, illegally doing uh, tech uh, tech level mismatch training so a uh, trading I forgot which one it was I don't know let's see if there's anybody from the Soren Empire here we go uh, that's the tourist attraction at TL5 yep didn't see anything out of the ordinary there but they're TL5 and uh, yeah they don't have anything here so if anything it would be these these guys are one and I know the Zashan Empire Polythrow one of their worlds was xenophobic hope I can find it here um, guess I'm not finding it here so let's see Oh, I, I had them marked all along. It's this group. Um, and their tech level is 4. Mech age 1900 AD. And the other one is this one. TL5 just barely above them. I may have to tweak the TLs of the empires, but that's why they asked about the trading. They said we're not traders, we're scouts. Um, let's see, so what we need to figure out next is how, what information is passed and how do they disengage. So they were able to translate, um, and let's see, we can ask some questions. Uh, let's see, they're clearly communicating to them that uh, Qatari is part of the Surin Empire. Uh, if your scouts stay out, um, that's communicated. Uh, let's see if there's something else we can look at here. All right, let's um, let's try something here. Uh, I got in the standard traveler. Mongoose. They've got an alien encounters. I'm going to see if this adds anything. I know they're talking to two of them. Um, one of them is going to be a scientist. I want to see if I can make the other one something useful. Uh, 55. Okay, we've got an administrator and a scientist. So we got a starport administrator. Let me see what else we got here. Let's see if this is a mercenary. Uh, we'll just say we've got the administrator. We've got the uh, administrator of the cube, which is for populating the planet and we've got a scientist um, so let me put that here for we got the admin and a scientist and this is a somewhat religious okay and uh, let's see we're part of the Imperium uh, they're indifferent or neutral uh, let's do one more role how much if they're willing to share information about the Surin Empire um, because our scouts don't know anything except about this planet. They don't know anything about the rest of it. So I'm going to go with an unlikely um, that they're going to share more info than this is just the Qataran Empire. I mean the uh, Surin Empire. Let's see what we get here. Oh gosh. Unlikely. No, they do share it. So um Okay, let's say they share basic info, and let's see, based on that, if they're willing to share info about, well, with these crazy rolls of light 19, they're open. Well, okay, so now they have knowledge, yes, we have this many worlds, and then we'll do a likely roll about sharing about the Zashin Empire. Oh, no. There is another empire. But that's it. Okay, so. With that said, let's see. And that's as far as we're going to go. We don't want to trade. We've shared some info about our empire. 
there is another empire um, and they're not going to give any more info and uh, at this point they're going to say you're on you're on our system you're in our system we respectfully ask you to leave this site uh, let's see and how um, I don't even know how to play this out let me think about it so basically they're gonna leave um, and I guess the group is gonna so they can leave peaceably but they have to leave the system but leave system okay um, and uh, they will send information back to their bosses about the possibility for a diplomatic uh, mission I don't know how they're going to communicate it. They'll just send it back. Um, and that's about it. Uh, let's see. Do they, they can't stick around for a reply. I guess it's sent by buoy, courier. That's right. There's no faster than light communication. But they're only one hop away. But still, that's two weeks. One week back to the home world. And you would think one week... So they say three weeks, or however they figure out the time sit here. Send a diplomatic mission in three weeks. And then the, our team has to decide, do they go all the way back, or... Yeah, three weeks should... No earlier than three weeks, okay? So, uh, that's what our team's going to do. So our team then... Uh, Let's see, Sonny never had to send the buoy, so he probably recalls it. Well, they keep it out there until they're clear. They'll pick it up on the way out. Um, so they're all going to return back to the ship. And then they're going to uh, head out um, to the jump point. And this is a new civilization. Reasonable tech level. It's more than one world. So the captain's going to make the call of saying we're going back to base and taking all of this information directly. So what we're going to do next, uh, I think that pretty much resolves the first contact for now. Um, so what our team's going to do is hop in their scout ship and start heading out towards the uh, 200 diameter jump point and return to do scan, DOS scan, whatever we want to call that there. So, um, when we come back, I'll calculate the time, although I probably could calculate it here. Let's see, Cephas gives us some good stuff here. Let's see what that says. Uh, wow, I didn't copy up the Starship Operations Manual. I'll have to look at that too. Uh, let's look. Common interplanetary travel times by acceleration. we got a 2G ship. Planetoid jump point, ground jump, ground to typical, no, large gas in ground to planetary orbit, ground to typical planet, uh, one of these, planet to far neighbor, nope, well, doesn't look like it's telling me what I want, but I'm going to, I'll look at the planetary, uh, starship ops or something and we'll figure out how long it's going to take. Okay, so that's where we're at now. Um, they are heading back to Doscan. First, they're heading to the 200 points. So when we come back, we will uh, conduct the jump from the jump point back to Doscan and go from there. So that was a pretty uh, neutral first contact there. Well, they did get basic info about the Surin Empire. And there was a reference to another empire, but no details. So they're going to head back with that information and all their readings and recordings to the scout base. So, I think that ends this one. And when we come back, we will be with our crew at the jump point. Thanks for listening.